the nation can now rest easy knowing that the three runaway mafia members have been caught. Despite likely bribery of the jury, it appears the evidence was clear. Mafia soldier Malcolm O'Patterson was sentenced to 25 years for two charges of murder and for giving false statements to the FBI. Capo Bernardo Dorenzio, son of infamous former mob boss Tony Dorenzio, was sentenced to 20 years for second-degree murder and racketeering. And finally, Lorenzo Leoncino was sentenced to five years for fishing without a license. Well, I am surprised the jury didn't accept my $20 Dairy Queen gift card. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to jail. Well, that's what happens when you play a fool. I am ashamed. Not only did you two fuckers get caught, you made a big spectacle of yourselves on the news. A big spectacle of me! Don Falcone, I'm so sorry. No, you shouldn't be sorry. You're still an amateur. Shit like this still happens to you little guys. But you, you Bernardo, you should be sorry. What type of made man gets caught? Fucks up directions? Murders? Let's Lorenzo go crazy! I'm right here! Like Father Lex. You're still gonna bribe the president to giving us better living accommodations, right? Oh, of course. Enjoy your rooms, fellas. Well, this doesn't quite look like prison to me. Well, your friends paid us off to get a better room. Huh. Neat. Wait, why is there only one bed? Hey, well, I wouldn't be exactly picky if I were you. Oh, no. I'm not sleeping in the same bed. Lorenzo snores. Fine, pick on me today, huh? Well, if you don't want to spend 20 years sleeping in one bed, you can simply just tell Agent Willis a few things and he'll happily let you go. Like a fucking rat? Why don't you go tell this to Willis? Suck a dick! I don't get paid enough for this. You're welcome. Pass the cup of gruel. Thank you. No, this is nice. Very nice for you. You get to get out of here in five years. God, even five years seems like a long time for me. Mm hmm But you're stuck in here five times as that. More than Lorenzo. So you're going to have to get used to it. How much stuff happens in 25 years? A lot of stuff. I can't stay in this prison for much longer. There has to be some way to shorten our sentences. Well, good behavior is key. I mean, don't cause a fuss and the prison will cut your sentence in half. Oh, good. Wait, that's still 12 and a half years. Malcolm, you can just tell me a few things, right? I mean, you're not really gonna stick with those guys? Yeah, I will. All right then. There's gotta be some non-rat way to shorten our sentence, right? Mom, please, I'll do anything. Well, there is one thing. Hey, you! Don't do crime! This is a journey into safety. Public safety. At night? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong and I'll tell you what's right. If you're walking out late, have a friend or two. There's all sorts of bad folks who want to hurt you. It's helpful to carry a pocket knife. Doing so might save your life. You should also have some pepper spray or you're gonna get hurt in a major way. Crime! We gotta stop it. Gotta stop the crime. Crime! We gotta stop it. We don't want no crime. Crime! We gotta stop it. Let's get rid of crime. Stop it. We gotta stop the crime Don't talk to strangers even if you feel inclined You'll never know if they've led a life of crime Always lock your bike to a bike rack And be alert for raccoon attacks You also gotta keep the city clean It's everyone's home if you know what I mean Make sure they don't graffiti your litter Otherwise you'll end up in the shitter Cut! You can't say that, Bernardo This is a PSA for children Ugh <sighs> Make sure that you don't graffiti your litter, otherwise you'll end up Shot in the back of the head by someone you once trusted when you are in a time of need, thrown into the trunk of a car, driven 15 miles away, unceremoniously dumped into a shallow grave where you won't be discovered for years, forgotten, 
by a cold and unforgiving world. Take five, everybody! You know, why are we doing this song by talking in a rhythmic manner? It, it's this new style of music the kids in Harlem are doing. It's called rapping. <laughs> yeah, that's never gonna catch on. Hey, at least we shortened our sentences. <laughs> yeah, by a year. Oh, I miss the little baby Mina. Oh, she's so cute and so fluffy. Why didn't we bribe Willis into bringing her? <clears throat> oh, that's right, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry, Lorenzo. I put Mina in good hands. So, she bugs all. Still not in the rat mood. No, no, this isn't about that. You, you may have another option to be released from prison. No, look, I know the FBI doesn't usually help the Mafia out, but something terrible is happening and we need your help. Wait, why do you need our help? It's about the Bercolinis. There's a mole in the Falcone family who's backstabbing Nikki. Who is it? Look, we don't know, but word on the street is that it's somebody very important and their big plan is to help the Berkelinis spread millions of tons of drugs across Chicago. But that's terrible. Falcone never stood for drug dealing. Which is why we have a common enemy. Look, we know that you three have gotten into the most trouble with those Berkelinis, which is why we'd make such a great team, all right? We gotta stop the Berkelinis and save the city. So, what do you say? I'm in. Really? Just like that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's a fucking fed. He could be tricking us. Look, I promise you there will be no investigation done on the Falcone family. No! That's not good enough, okay? If you don't keep your part of the deal, what do you have to lose? Well, what have I told you a little secret to convince you? I didn't always used to be part of the FBI. I used to be part of the NSA. Wait, the NSA? You went to space? You fucking idiot. Alright, I'll bite. What made you get bumped down to the FBI? About six years ago, I lost the briefcase containing the nuclear codes, the, the nuclear football. I told nobody about the situation. I got in trouble with a rogue Soviet general. I fought a hippie. I broke into Deborah Lee's house. And I'm pretty sure President Richard Nixon almost murdered someone. But the point is, is if this story gets out to the public, America will lose all of its trust in its government. And now, you three know it. Interesting. Who's the other person in the photo? Oh, that, yeah, that's a... It's Agent Warren. What, did you two date or something? No! You'll excuse me for one moment. Convinced? Yeah, I'd say so. I'm into. Oh, great. Bernardo? No. Bernardo, how come? Because he's a fed and we're wise fellows. End of story. I'm not humiliating myself anymore. But Bernardo, we've got to save the family. Falcone's in danger. The city's in danger. I don't give a fuck. We're criminals, not heroes. Oh, I know what this is about. It's about your father, isn't it? Shut up, Lorenzo. You're so caught up in his legacy. Just give it up already. I said shut up! Do you know who I used to be? I used to be the Crown Prince of Chicago. Everyone knew I was tough enough to lead until I got associated with you two. Now everyone thinks I'm a joke. So I'm sorry if I don't want to go on your guys' wild goose chase. Real shame. What do you want, Malcolm? Bernardo, have you ever wondered why I joined the Mafia? It was because of you. You took a chance on the little guy, became my first real friend. And, 
And isn't that what the mafia is all about? Immigrants who are disenfranchised by a classist, bigoted system, fighting back by, by cutting corners and empowering each other, by taking a chance on the little guy? There's no reason why criminals can't be heroes. I'm sorry, Bob. You can always change your mind.